don't want you to miss anything here when we speak. Mm -hmm. I get it distracted. Everybody experienced this. And I'm going to tell you that that distracted state, uh, state is a stage of uh, the seeker also. But even the distracted state, I want to show you, this, the feeling of distractedness is observable or not. One of your most great power is the power of your attention. So great, so intimate is this power that wherever attention goes, whatever it touches, is being registered as experience. And this this uh, attention, it works also for consciousness. Marvelous. But it is also observable. Attention itself, which seems to be an observing tool, itself is observable. Sometimes you can say that uh, my, uh, my attention is a bit restless at the moment. Huh? It's true or not? Yeah, right now I cannot really focus on what you say. Attention is restless, okay? But something is watching attention or lack of attention or restless attention. Is true or not? Is that one restless? Now, what happens when you say that the, during meditation I see the thoughts and the restlessness is happening? And then what happens? That restlessness is accepted as a statement of failure. Okay? That is also a thought. Accepted. When you accept this thought, Huh? Then you seem to, your efforts collapse. I'll try again after lunch. <laughs>
Do you hear what you're saying? No, no, no. Relax. Nothing is hard from you, sir. Relax. You got that? You want to respond on the what if you're getting trapped. You got it just like that. You have to wait sometimes before you make that decision. If you move too soon, move now. Move just like you did. I'll abort. It just hits you in your head. Stand back up. Move when you think you should move on this weapon. You understand? Right, let's go.
kind, too kind, too kind. Can I take y'all with me to my shows, man? <laughs>
figured the most valuable thing I could sacrifice was my own voice, but it was like I hadn't realized that I had given that up a long time ago. I had spent so much of my life telling people the things they wanted to hear instead of the things they needed to, told myself I wasn't meant to be anyone's conscience because I still had to figure out being my own, so sometimes I just wouldn't say anything. Appeasing ignorance with my silence, unaware that validation doesn't need words to endorse its existence. We spend so much time listening to the things people are saying that we rarely pay attention to the things they don't. Silence is the residue of fear. It is feeling your flaws, gut-wrenched guillotine your tongue. It is the air retreating from your chest because it doesn't feel safe in your lungs. Silence is Rwandan genocide. Silence is Katrina. It is what you hear when there aren't enough body bags left. It is the sound after the noose is already tied. It is charring. It is chains. It is privilege. It is pain. There is no time to pick your battles when your battles have already picked you. I will not let silence wrap itself around my indecision. So this year, instead of giving something up, I will live every day as if it were a microphone tucked under my tongue, a stage on the underside of my inhibition. Because who has to have a soapbox when all you've ever needed is your voice? I mean, but it's like, it, it, I don't know what my dad went through mentally or my mom went through mentally in order to do what they had to do every day. Yeah. And deal with their problems internally, not tell anybody. Yeah. Go to work, you know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, that affects you. You have a panic attack, don't even know what a panic attack is. You disassociate. That's when your people are like, man, I just don't feel like myself today. Yeah. You disassociate. Or it's like, man, you were talking to me the whole time, man. I didn't, I wasn't listening to nothing you were saying. That's disassociated. That's called fight or flight. That's you being so depressed, like so down about something, that you just be like, I'm out. And the vessel, like your vessel here, but you just way back here. Well, I hate to say this, Chris, <laughs> because I was talking to a family member the other day, and they was going through so much shit. I said, all right, man, this is the best advice I can give you, because when stuff gets this real, yeah. this is what I do. I said, it's like you laying in the ocean. Yeah. And sometimes you just gotta float and you don't give a damn if that current take you back into the beach or take I you deep into you the ocean. Father. Okay. You gotta protect your mind because yeah. if you keep on thinking, you gonna lose it out here. Yeah. Real movies, bad guy, always win. Oh, 
Oh, you relate to the bad guy more. Exactly. 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 Remember, when you move in silence, 